Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of my show. Um, this one might get emotional, so I'm going to go grab a coffee, and I will meet you back here in 10 seconds. Okay, good morning, guys. So I've actually scripted this is today's show. We'll see how it goes. Um, I may get emotional on this one, so please just bear with me. But first off, I'm grabbing coffee, obviously. First off, um, I'm going to start with my sugar cube moment, which was inspired by little things, the focus of this week's show. Um, they're just short moments to remind us that the world is beautiful, people are great, like it's an amazing place filled with beautiful, talented people. Um, I wish that I could show, like when Refresh was on, it would show the top five clips, the funny, like the, the homecomings and the gender reveals and stuff. I wish I could show clips like that, but there's copyright and licensing and yada, yada, yada. So I can't, although I can share them all I want on Facebook, I can't download them and share them through my show because that's different. Legal mumbo jumbo, I don't get a lot of it, but if you have, you know, just an uplifting, positive video, please, if you don't mind me sharing it on my show without licensing fees and copyrights and all that other stuff, please email it to me, share it with me somehow, and I will include it as a sugar cube moment. Um, both the mute sugar cube moments today, though, are just stock footage that I found from around the internet of how amazing our universe is. So here you go. Okay, welcome back to the regulars, to those that are new here. Of course, it's Saturday. I'm Sylvie, hence Sylvie on Saturday. Welcome to my show. My message is life is good. People are good. Just keep swimming, I guess. <laughs> um, before I begin the official goodbye type of show, um, I want to go back to episode 12. We're on 34 now, so that was, you know, way back when, um, right after I discovered Little Things and Refresh. So here's what I did for them way back then. Hi! I am here once again to rave about yet another website. Kind of. Um, so yeah, I scroll, scroll through Facebook. One of the things that I follow on Facebook is I see things like this and it always links to, you know, touching, heartwarming, cute little videos, you know, just a hit you in the feel kind of video things. So, anyways, yeah, a few days ago I was following links here and it turns out that through, they have a live. They have like a TV, I guess, kind of station, oh, sorry, mm. they have a TV station, they have a list of different shows, you'll see the list here of different shows. I haven't checked them all out. The one that I'm actually here to rave about is the one that's on uh, 10 o'clock in the time zone that they're in, which is actually 7 o'clock in the morning here. But it's, you know, less than an hour and it's awesome. It's a great way to start your day, you know, kind of like what you do with this show. I do with their show. I grab my coffee, sit down, I wait for it to start, plug it in, and I see this. Good morning! Which, she is, it's 7 o'clock in the morning my time. I could not imagine being that cheerful at 7 o'clock in the morning. But she's bright, she's cheerful, she's happy, she's energetic. And it's just a great way to start the day. So, yeah, they do, I think it's the top seven videos every day. They have guest speakers on. She does different, oh, I've watched it a few days in a row now. They have a comment section in the bottom. Everybody is super friendly. It's just, I suggest you check it out. It's a great, great, great show. And I'm sure the rest on that site are just as great. I can't wait to check. Okay, since that, I've caught 
every episode of Refresh I could. Um, if I'm not at work, I'm up 7 o'clock in the morning to sit here with my coffee. If I was at work, I would watch it when I got home from work because you know you can watch the replays later. Miss out chatting with the girls in the con or the people in the comments, but that's okay. You still saw the show. Um, trying to stick to the script, but you know me, that doesn't work that well. Aren't enough words to explain what Refresh did for me, and not just for me, but for a lot of other people I've discovered. And it's not just the show itself, but it is those people, the community. Um, Cassie and Paul, the hosts of Refresh, did an amazing job of including us all, making us all feel like a family, like a community, like the whole kit and caboodle, the show, the cast, the crew, the, the audience, the hosts, it was the company itself, little things will be missed. Um, there's a core group of the audience members um, that have come together and some of them I think know more about me than people in my own town. Um, oh, and here come the emotions, right? Um, and even though I've never met these people in person, they are... It's nice knowing that they're out there ready to, you know, support and pray and just listen. And we've become a family and they, you know, they created the Sugar Cubes page to follow the show and it's just amazing. Um, even people have commented around me that since I've started watching Refresh, it takes more to knock me down during the day. I don't know if you guys understand that, but I start my day more positive, so it takes further to get me down. Um, yeah. This message was always positive. It was a great way to start the day. And they worked hard to remind us that, you know, you watch the news and you watch the media and you watch... And it's all so bleak and so negative and so, you know, the world is going to end. People suck. Nobody cares anymore. But that's not true. And it was the Little Things channel and show like Refresh and the Sugar Cubes group that show me that... Um, yeah, that... You know, life is good. People are good. You have to look for the helpers. You have to look for the prayer warriors. You have to look for the people that you have stuff in common with. And that doesn't mean you're exactly the same. It's the differences between us that make us unique, that make us each who we are. And we have to celebrate those differences and enjoy those differences. And just because you don't agree with someone doesn't mean you have to hate them. doesn't mean they're wrong. It means they're different. They think different than you. And respect them accept them and that doesn't mean you have to change your beliefs to believe what they believe it just means you have to accept what they believe and understand that you know we are all here together to get through this as best as we can and we have to do it together and again i'm off script so let's try and find out where i was um yeah they remind us that no matter what race gender we're all people we have to respect each other. Um, and again, with the show Refresh, the one that we're doing, the goodbye to today, they had what they call the prayer jar, and they always made a point of, it wasn't for Christians, it wasn't for Pentecosts, it wasn't for Baptists, it was for everyone. It didn't matter whether you prayed to God, to Allah, to Mother Earth, it's the fact that we came together to show love and support and caring for each other. That was... Wow, that was huge for me. Um, but anyways, yeah, if you didn't see the news earlier this week, this is what happened. Well, if you follow me, you couldn't have missed it. Oh, and an example of the community is that the staff at Little Things had pretty much no notice. So when they went on, they found it Tuesday night. So they aired their final show on Wednesday. And, um... I was at work, there was a few other of us regulars that weren't at work, and 
as soon as I got to somewhere with Wi-Fi, my phone went off, and it was a, one of the other sugar cubes. And again, thank you, Joni, for giving me the heads up. I don't know what I would have done if I'd been blindsided by it. But yeah, as soon as it was announced, the sugar cubes were talking to each other. Who's not here? How do we contact them? Private messages were being sent to individual members by... Yeah. And I'll be honest, I spent most of Wednesday weepy. Um, I drive for a living. I have clients, so I have to kind of do the customer service thing when my clients were in the car, but it was hard. And if I had a couple of moments where I was alone and started thinking, yeah, I would cry. <laughs> I admit, I would cry. Um, yeah, here. So, and, but Cassie and Paul always say, look for the positive, you know, look for the good. And the positive in all of this, I think, is that by the time I got home from work, the Sugar Cubes group was full of live videos, personal videos of members you know, just sharing that I wasn't the only one crying, you know. We were all mourning and planning on how to keep this going because the message was too important for us to lose it. And even though little things might be shut down, the message and what they started will go on. And I... Like I've been following, like I said, that was episode 12. That was weeks ago. I've been following and part of Refresh for months now. And I think I found out more about these people and became closer to some of these people in one day. And we all came together. There's been another page created. People are doing their own live videos. The prayer jar is still going on. Thank you, Vicki. Um... Yeah, we can come together and we can be, and you know, the outside world is going to try and bury our message and try and keep people scared and keep people relying on them and yada, yada, yada. But we have to remind people that the world is good. Um, again, there's, it was a family, little things, the staff, the crew, everybody, like, Um, and there was a lot of beautiful, beautiful tributes to them and some big thank yous. And here's where I get to say mine. I just want to say to everybody, um, there's way too many people to name. There's, well, of course, Cassie and Paul and Sedana and Sonia and Chase and Peter and Pedro and Mike and, oh, I know I'm missing people, Aaron and... I know I'm missing people, and I'm sorry I should have maybe made better notes for this, but just know that the work you put in... Yeah, okay, here we go. To Cassie, Paul, and Mike. Uh, you guys were the faces of Refresh, cheerful voices that started my day off with a smile. You'd mention us by name. You know, you'd include us. Encourage us through whatever our situations were. You guys were there, and thank you for that. Um, to the staff, to those I named and those I didn't, your work was appreciated. Thank you so much for the amazing guests. And, you know, if you go back and watch some of the old shows, we had, they had, you know, my favorites. The one that went, oh my god, when they got these on the show, I almost died. They had Natty and Lana. Those of you who don't follow wrestling have no idea. But Natty and Lana are, Natty is my inspiration. They had Jack Osborne. They had Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, Melissa Joan Hart. There it is. I wanted to say Sarah Michelle Gellar. I knew that was so wrong. But anyway, say Melissa Joan Hart. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like a talk show where these people are on promoting their new movie, trying to sell you something. She brought these big people onto the, or they brought these big people onto the show and they talked about depression they talked about heart disease you know showing us again that it doesn't matter what walk of life you come from we all suffer from the same problems we all end up in the same situations we all need the same kind of love and support and what yada 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 um okay 
Okay, and to, of course, the sugar cubes, the audience there, like, you're my family. I am so thankful that Refresh brought us all together. I'm glad I got to know each and every one of you, and I cannot wait to continue this on through everything else that we're doing to keep the message of Refresh going. Um, although it was a sad situation, and a lot of the live videos were us crying, and we all came together, we're all going to stay together, and I'm so proud of all of us for understanding and for seeing that this is an important message that has to get out there. Okay, so to little things, we will miss you, and hopefully you can... I don't know. Best of luck to all of you. I hope you find something that puts you in a position to keep spreading the message, I guess. And the shadow is really weird. It's kind of messing with me, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, yeah, so a bit of a longer show today. I had to ramble and yada, yada, yada. But, oh, Ma, before I forget, usually I do this halfway through the end of the show because this was kind of an important one i just wanted to get through it without crying if you like the video click thumbs up if you have anything to say you can scroll right down to the bottom leave me a comment i will reply even if it's just a heart to let you know that i saw it and again if you want to see more me and i'm gonna yeah more focus on the positive and more good things and hopefully i can I don't know, but yeah, the message has to get out there, and Sylvia on Saturday is going to be a, one of the ways to get the message out there. So, for uplifting, for happy stuff, tune in every Saturday, see me, and until next Saturday, peace out, blessed be, and look for the helpers. <laughs>